Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we've reached 200 subscribers. A big thanks to all our viewer. In today's video I am going to explain lift regulations in India. So before starting the video I request you all to subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button. In India, the builders or owners need to comply certain regulations to install and use lifts. In this video I am going to explain what are the important parameters to finalize lift facility and seek installation approvals. From low-rise to high-rise building, lift has become an integral part and more than an amenity. So due to this increasing use and demand of lift in our buildings, it is very important to understand the lift regulations related to safety, security and building norms in India. The construction, maintenance and safe working of lifts are regulated by the lift acts and rules made in certain states. In addition, Indian standards have been prescribed for elevators, defining the types, recommended dimensions, technical specifications, and method of testing. The Indian standards also prescribe the code of practice for installation, operation, and maintenance of passenger, goods and service lifts. The safety of lifts is also covered under the above regulations. While Indian standards IS will be applicable for the installations across the country, the lift acts are specific to the states where acts have been made. Now let's see what are the approvals required for installation of lifts or elevators. If one wishes to install a lift in their building, there are a certain set of approvals one needs to seek from the government based on various parameters. The owner of the complex or building or project has to apply to the government for a license to install and a license to use a lift. License approval is dependent on important factors including whether the lift is being installed and maintained by an authorized contractor. The validity of both licenses differs from state to state. Currently, only 10 states issue these licenses such as Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Assam, West Bengal, Delhi, Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. The process to install and use an elevator does not end here, as there are several post-installation tests that are done in order to ensure safety and security of users. Once the approvals are granted, the owner needs to get the elevator installed by a manufacturer of elevator or a person, a person who is certified by company of electrical and mechanical engineers in the state. After successful installation and commissioning, the equipment shall be inspected by the lift inspector in accordance with the provision of the lift rules in force within the state. Further, the lift is subjected to annual renewal of a license, as may be required under the lift rules of that specific state. Now let's have a look at, what should you check before buying a lift? Certain key factors that should be taken into consideration before finalizing a lift such as, the load and capacity requirements, a number of people in a building, the traffic patterns, and speed of lift. Make sure that the following safety system are provided, like the automatic rescue system, the infrared door curtains, the load weighing device, and the mechanical safeties. To know more about lift safeties I've already made a video, please watch the link in description. In addition, there are certain value-added features provided by lift companies with minimal added cost, such as energy-efficient equipment, the options of power standby mode, automatic switch-off, environmentally responsible systems, and elevators that offer ease of maintenance. This is it for today's video. For any queries, please comment below. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe the video and keep supporting.